Hello, everybody. My name is Andrea with Dental L Tutoring. In this video, let's talk about the oral cavity. So I upload videos every Monday, so definitely keep checking back. Study videos such as this one where I teach you guys a topic. So if there's a topic that you want to learn sooner rather than later, comment below and I will add that to my list of videos to do. And this one, it's going to be the oral cavity. So this will be the basics of the oral cavity. I'm going to really go through the different things inside the mouth, basically. Um, but it can be very confusing, especially if you are a student, if you're in semester one, even once you start seeing patients, it can be very overwhelming because inside the mouth, there's a lot going on. So this is going to be the basics. If you guys want more, definitely check out my Board Exam Prep Academy course, where I go through every topic that you have to know for the board exam and our teaching videos are typically 45 minutes long. This one, of course, isn't going to be 45 minutes because this is going to be a good but quick and very helpful review on the oral cavity. So let me share my screen. I have a screen for you guys where, oh, sorry, let me, I'm clicking the wrong buttons here. There we go. So can you guys see my screen okay? So the oral cavity basics. Think about it this way. The oral cavity is anything inside the mouth and kind of around the area too. So I wanted to bring up this image because for students, this can be very overwhelming for you, right? But you need to keep in mind when you're thinking about the teeth, I like to tell people when you're taking a panoramic x-ray, you see the overall mouth, right? Think about that as the oral cavity. So it's not just the teeth or just the tongue or just inside the mouth. It's going to include the sinuses and other areas too. The throat area, very important. The oral cavity proper is just basically a little bit of everything. The tongue, the teeth, the lips, the hard palate, the soft palate, all of that fun stuff. Moving on to the next one here. So this is a different way to look at the oral cavity, but these things I'm going to pinpoint, you definitely have to know the difference, especially when you start seeing patients. And for the board exam, you need to know what all of these things are. I like this image because it doesn't label everything. For example, do you guys know what this is? This is your um, uvula. Uvula, that's always a funny word to say. A lot of patients point to that and go, I have this round ball thing in my mouth. What is that? It's totally normal, but this is what we have to do. We have to educate our patients. But then you have the soft palate, which is close to the uvula. The hard palate is above that, closer to the teeth. A lot of students get the hard and soft palate confused. So the soft palate, the hard palate. But then you also have to remember you have skin tissue. You have your lingual tongue tie, which is here, and the lip tie, which could happen too. Sometimes this can go down and actually separate the front teeth. If that's the case, as a baby, you want to get that cut so it doesn't cause other problems. Um, but that's another lecture for another day. But it's good to kind of look at all of this and then think to yourself, do I know what these things are? Do I know what this is? Where's the soft palate again? But I'm going to go through more of those in the next slide here. Uh, sorry, maybe it's the next slide. This one, again, is looking at the, the, the teeth, the oral cavity in a different way. This is all, uh oh, <coughs> excuse me, guys. That was random. Had to sneeze. Oh, boy. I normally sneeze in twos. Well, that's how you know this video isn't edited because I just sneezed for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I think I'm good now. I think I'm good now. This you have to know. The attached gingiva and then the marginal gingiva is along the gum line. The attached is above that, but then you have the, the um, alveolar mucosa that is closer to the lip area. But then remember, we talked about that lip tie, the maxillary labial frenum. But there's one down here as well. You could even technically have one here as they are showing. The interdental gingiva is in between the teeth. So notice how all of this is so much to think about. I do suggest learning a little bit at a time. Now, anatomy of the tooth. Your teeth are considered inside the oral cavity, so you have to know the different parts. Enamel, dentin, pulp, the crown of the tooth, 
Of course, the gums are around the tooth, the root of the tooth, and then the cementum is covering only the root of the tooth, not the crown, only the root. And then of course, surrounding everything is going to be the bone. Um, tooth surfaces, again, your teeth is included in the oral cavity. I do have another video specific to tooth surfaces and kind of how you need to learn those, especially if you're a new student. You will learn this for like 15 minutes the first day, and then you're expected to know it. So if you haven't seen that video, you guys do a search for tooth surfaces on my YouTube channel. I talk about it more. Of course, if you like, take a picture of this slide with your cell phone if you want to learn more about it. But I just kind of have a good quick slide for you. Definitely check out the Board Exam Prep Academy if you want to learn more about this too. But the tooth surfaces. You have to know mesial, distal, lingual, buccal, incisal. You got to know all of that. Here's another way of looking at the tooth, specifically the, the occlusal surface and all of the different cusps. Every cusp has a name. Every surface has a name. This is why dental professionals get paid what they do, because look at all the stuff we have to know. There's a lot. I love these images here. Another way to look at everything. I love this one. A lot of students don't think they have to know the throat area, but you do. There are different arches. You have the hard palate, remember, which is closer to the teeth, the soft palate, the uvula. You need to know the different arches. The palatopharyngeal arch is more posterior. And then you have the palatine tonsil, which is more anterior. The palatoglossal arch is more anterior to that. So you need to know all of those fun things. Some different images for you. I go through these in greater detail inside the board exam prep academy, but this is kind of a good study lesson for you. The tongue, you need to know the tongue and the different papilla. The um, folate papilla is on the side of the tongue. Very important, more prominent in children. The sides is more prominent for, for oral cancer as well. So always check, do that oral cancer screening. The circumvallate papilla is towards the back. The fungiform papilla is closer to the front. And then we talk again about the tonsils, the arches, all of that fun stuff. So. Are you guys overwhelmed yet? I hope not. That was kind of a good study time video on the oral cavity, but the oral cavity is a big unit. So I'm going to do videos in the near future where I'm going to specifically talk about the tongue. I'm going to specifically talk about the throat area. I'm going to specifically talk about the papilla. So stay tuned. But if you can't wait, I do have more videos inside the Board Exam Prep Academy. Click like to this video if you liked it. That does help me and my channel, you guys. And stay tuned next Monday where I'm going to upload another study time video. So enjoy, you guys. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys very soon.